Praise the Lord. Good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Tuesday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither dwelling. Welcome tonight. Let's give him a big hand. Tonight, my friends, I release a very special blessing upon everyone. I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus. I cover everyone, every believer under the blood this Tuesday night, under the blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Tonight, every spirit of witchcraft, uh, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, uh, generational curses, uh, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, uh, I break, uh, I destroy, I reverse from your life. Uh, I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every fetter, I break every evil and every work of darkness uh, for whom the sun set free is free indeed. You are free tonight in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand. For Praise God. Father, I pray tonight uh, you dip mortal man of clay into your fire, in the liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Uh, anoint my lips, anoint my tongue. Born out every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness on this body. As I minister your words tonight, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand tonight. <laughs> Praise God. If you have your Bibles tonight, let us turn to the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 37 to 39. But as, but as the days of Noah, the days of Noah, my friends, were so, so shall also be the coming of the Son of Man. Yes, for as in the days of Noah, before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Yes, eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall it also be the coming of the Son of Man. Yes, be my friends, the time is leading up to the great flood in Noah's era and marked by people engrossed in the ordinary and everyday affairs of life, eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. These activities are not sinful. Listen carefully. In fact, they are necessary and even celebratory aspects of human existence. However, my friends, the problem arises when these activities become so consuming that they leave no room for reflection. Yes, or, or mindful mindfulness of one's spiritual condition. Yes, or alternatives to God's guidance and warnings. This was a trap that the people of those days fell into their lives they were so dominated by routine and worldly pursuits that they become blind to the warnings of the Lord unfolding around them beloved and friends ignoring Noah's warning of an impending flood yes continued living as tomorrow would always be just as today their vision my friends was limited to physical brim or to the im, im, 
immediacy of day-to-day -day lives they forget that life life my friends they forget that life life my friends is a feeling un uncomfortable yes pursuit of temporary pressure and comforts they were indifferent to the eternal matters of the soul similarly it's all too easy for people today to become so engrossed in daily life and its demands career ambitions social media social engagements financial concern yes my friends and they lose sight lose sight of the broader perspective jesus warns in matthew chapter 24 verse 37 to 39 clearly tells us it serves as a stark reminder of this danger jesus message to his in this passage is clear tonight his return will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night this reality should awaken in a sense of urgency and vigilance in every believer we are called not to abandon our daily responsibilities but to carry them out with the eternal perspective always remembering that our time here is limited we must resist the temptation and to be so consumed by the pursuits of this life that we forget the promise of his return it is a balance of living responsibility in the world that now being so attached to and that we lose sight of our ultimate purpose to love and serve God and prepare for his coming yes my friends the coming of his kingdom in other words in of Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 we we shall set our minds on things above not on earthly things but keeping this in balance tonight yes we can ensure ensure that we are ready for the day of his return however it may come indeed beloved the danger lies in allowing the pursuits of life to become so all-consuming that even they eclipse our spiritual priorities including the anticipation of Jesus Christ's return we can easily they become entangled in the web of worldly concern securing our financial future advancing in our careers maintaining our social standing yes my friends that we neglect we neglect our relationship with the lord and here are the, the now we can become so passing that we lose sight of eternity this excessive preoccupation with worldly matters can numb us to the urgency of Christ's coming and be risk being caught unprepared as the people were in Noah's time. Beloved and friends, the Christian life calls for a balance, a balance between engaging in the world and maintaining our focus on Jesus Christ and his imminent return. This does not mean we should abandon our earthly responsibilities, but rather approach them with an eternal perspective yes my friends the apostle paul encourages us in colossians chapter 3 verse 23 which clearly says whatever you do whatever work you do at it with all your heart as working with the lord not as human masters yes my friends we are stewards of our time talents and resources yes and while we are here on earth yes beloved we should use them wisely wisely and purposefully yes all the while keeping your eyes on the promises of christ's return each day is an opportunity opportunity to grow closer to the lord to serve others and to prepare our hearts for the day we he will we, we will be torn with jesus face to face let us remember that our ultimate hope is not the temporary world but in the eternal kingdom of God, our focus tonight uh, should not solely rest uh, on our life here on earth, uh, but should extend to the life uh, to come. This prospective beloved and friends uh, shift our priorities, action, and decisions uh, to the in it influence how we spend our time, how we interact with others, beloved friends, family, relatives, uh, and how we face challenges. Uh, and most importantly, it keeps us awake, uh, awake and ready for Jesus' return. Uh, Give him a big hand tonight. Jesus says, said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 20 to 21. But I store up for yourselves, you don't store up yourselves treasures in heaven. Yes, for we your treasure is your heart will be also. May your hearts ever yearn for the ultimate treasure. 
the promise of eternity with our Savior, beloved and friends. It is truly telling us, telling how our behaviors reveal our underlying beliefs and priorities. Many people today profess to believe in the second coming of Jesus, and yet their actions may not align with their belief. This inconsistency can stem from a variety of reasons, primarily among them being complacency or preoccupation with worldly affairs beloved and friends let us de deliver deep dive deeply into the first reason complacency some people while professing to believe in the second coming may believe well, as though it is a distance and abstract event without imminent consequences but let us talk about the rapture force before the second coming in the daily lives just as people of no time did not heed the implement impending flood yes some believers might become comfortable in their routines and lifestyle choosing a life as if things were always remain the same they may be spiritually lulled yes into a sense of false security where the urgency of Jesus return is dulled by the monetary of daily living my friends the world we live in is often promotes a narrative of continuity and performance our daily routines beloved and friends responsibilities yes and plans for the future can create an illusion of an unending timeline Yes, a seemingly infinite strain of tomorrows. We build houses, develop careers, raise families, yes, and make long term plans. Yes, all of which reinforces a sense of security and constant and constancy. While these activities are normal and necessary parts of life, they can lull us into a false sense of eternal earthly existence. Yet the truth remains tonight that our time on earth is but a brief moment in the vast expense of eternity think think about where you will spend eternity tonight beloved and friends there is a certainty we must all face yet it often arise unannounced it's timing unknown to us similarly tonight beloved and friends the second coming and the rapture in fact the rapture and the second coming of the lord as foretold in the scripture will come like a thief in the night unexpected and sudden yes light of these truths are our prospective shift we are awakened to the brevity of life and the reality of eternity my friends the temporary nature of our earthly existence contrasts dramatically with the everlasting nature and our souls tonight as as a result the question of our souls destination becomes paramount think tonight think think about where your soul is going beloved and friends every choice we make every action yes we take as spiritual reformations yes that extend beyond our earthly lifespan therefore it is crucial crucial for us to live each day with an eternal perspective yes my friends daily choices shall reflect our awareness of spiritual realities that transcend this physical world the allure of world pleasures and achievements should not distract us from our ultimate purpose tonight my friends to seek God's kingdom above all else hallelujah act of the knowledge of Christ's imminent return should motivate us to live mark by faith hope love and righteousness hallelujah let's the reality of eternal eternity inspire us to invest in our relationship with God tonight for it is a relationship <coughs> that will endure beyond the confines of time so take a moment tonight, reflect and think, think, think about where you will spend eternity, beloved, and where your soul is going consequently tonight. Yes, my friends, their lives may not reflect the transformation that comes from living in expectation of Jesus' return and the rapture. Yes, the, their spiritual practice, like attending church service, Bible reading, yes, and uh, prayer may become a supplicate on lukewarm. Yes, my friends, or even non-existence. Yes, my friends, the second reason resolves around the, the preoccupations and allures of life, the clamor of modern life with its relentless demand 
plans, distractions, and delights, uh, beloved and friends, can easily drown out the quiet call of spiritual truth. Uh, tonight, the chase for success, pleasure, and approval can be so engrossing that the white, spring, white spreading of the spirit of off pushes uh, to the margin of our consciousness. As a result, sin and temptations may not be resisted, but a strong people must still engage in behaviors like fornication, adultery, or nurturing unhealthy relationships. Yes, my friends, their focus has been diverted from the eternal to the temporal addiction. In particular tonight, it is a paramount example of how the immediate gratification of worldly desires can lead us to a to neglect of one's spiritual health. Yes, my friends, the separation between belief and behavior is not new phenomenon tonight. It was evident even in the biblical times. It on, on, grew on underscores the ongoing struggle between the flesh and the spirit and the temporal and eternal. The, it and that calls us today it is truly life in the light of eternity we if we truly believe tonight that, that Jesus could return any day the rapture can take place our priorities will shift significantly our actions will be guided by the perspective of his imminent imminent return our lives will reflect a constant commitment of righteousness holiness devotions to God yes my friends this transformation is the hallmark of a faith that is alive active and awaiting the return of our Savior hallelujah let's give him a big hand tonight praise the Lord thank you Jesus beloved and friends it has been a great joy tonight to spend a few minutes to minister the word and spend a little time with you tonight God bless you richly I love you greatly in the love of God do have a sweet night rest I'll see See you in the next session. God bless you richly. I love you very much in the love of God. In Jesus' precious name, make sure that you do not miss the rapture. Yes, my friends, we are living in the very last days. Hallelujah. Very soon, the trumpet of the Lord it will sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air. The world is heading for a new world order, a one world government, a one world religion a one world currency and the rule and the reign of the antichrist for seven year tribulation period be ready be ready my friends the time is at hand time is running out make sure you're safe make sure your salvation is secure make sure you accept the free gift of salvation and your names are written in the lamb's book of life god bless you richly tonight in jesus precious name i'll pray for you in the next session in the name of jesus amen and amen praise god thank you jesus Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God.